livestock are involved in many youth injuries every year. Because goats are small and tend to tame down easily, their potential to cause injury may be deceptive. Safe working habits include protecting yourself, your meat goat, and others. This lesson covers best practices for personal safety when working with meat goats raised or purchased for the purpose of showing at livestock exhibitions. Protect yourself by using personal protection equipment and practicing safe work habits with meat goats. For instance, sturdy, closed-toe shoes or boots with non-slip soles are your best choice for footwear when working with meat goats. Leather gloves protect hands from rope burns or pinches from chains while leading your meat goat at home. They also protect your hands while clipping. Latex or rubber gloves are best choices to protect your hands and forearms while washing and grooming. Long sleeves and long pants offer the best protection from sun exposure and dirt and dander from your meat goat. When it's just too hot to wear long sleeves outdoors, be sure to use sunscreen and regularly wash exposed skin with soap. Next, safety glasses offer the best protection for your eyes from hair clippings, dirt and grooming products. Try tinted safety glasses when working in sunny locations. And earplugs protect your ears when using motorized equipment, such as the clippers or blower, and when working in an enclosed area where noises are loud. Remember to wash your hands with soap often, and use hand sanitizer between washings or when soap is not available. Contact with your meat goat's hide, dander, manure, or urine creates an opportunity for disease-causing organisms, such as ringworm, to pass to you. Also, be prepared for cuts, scrapes, and minor emergencies by learning first aid and keeping a first aid kit in your show box and in the barn or building where you house your meat goats. There are many ways to get hurt when working with your meat goats, even when you think you're being careful. For example, your goat can be frightened and run, jump, butt, or kick. Or you can slip, trip, or fall over things left laying around, on a slick walkway, in a pen, or on an uneven surface, such as in sand in the show ring or uneven surfaces in a pen. You can get kicked, stepped on, butted, or tripped while leading, moving, feeding, or grooming your goat. You can get a burn from the lead rope or get pinched in the links of a neck chain. You can be burned by the hot motor of clippers or blowers. Or your fingers can get pinched in a gate latch, poked by a wire, the blades on the clippers, or the teeth on a comb. You can strain muscles in your arms, legs, or back by carrying heavy show boxes or buckets of feed. Washing and grooming can cause muscle strains from frequently repeated movements, such as the up and down, back and forth of washing and clipping. In fact, ergonomists, people who study human body mechanics, say there are three main causes of back injury in agriculture. Picking up an object by bending at the waist instead of using your legs lifting more than 15% of your body weight, and carrying a heavy load more than 10 to 15 yards. So how should you pick up a heavy object? Stand close to the object to be lifted. Spread your feet wide enough to straddle the object. Squat, bending your knees and hips. Keep your head up and your back straight. Hold in your stomach muscles. Lift using your leg muscles. Keep the load close to your body with a firm grip. Turn your feet, not your back, in the direction you're going. And how much is 15% of your body weight? You can use this simple formula. Take your weight times 0.15. So what should you do if you have a heavy load to carry more than 10 to 15 yards? Ask someone to help you. Get a wheel dolly, a feed cart, wheelbarrow, a wheeled utility cart, or a show box with wheels. Remember to avoid injury, you have to take good care of yourself.